right, so let's start off with the flannel for a work look. I think it's really fun to take any button down that you have and button it all the way up to that very top button and layer a big bold statement necklace under the collar. It's really fun and kind of preppy chic, but it always adds just an element of style. And when we're at work, we want to add in an element of our personal style because generally we have to make some compromises at work. I'm taking my thrifted blazer. I found this at a thrift store. It was old J. Crew, but it's a really good basic. And obviously you're going to want to have a nice neutral coat that you can always layer over elements because while in the office, this is going to provide me with plenty of warmth, style, and sophistication. It's not enough for the actual elements outside. So just have an extra coat that you can layer over it. So the whole point of this look was to remind you that you can actually use button downs and wear them almost like cardigans. They don't need to be worn as a shirt. You can open them and wear them draped over a t-shirt as, as an additional layer. It adds a pop of texture, a pop of color and pattern to an otherwise really simple outfit. This coat of mine is my go-to and it happens to match my like winter Ugg snow boots perfectly. So it's great for the winter. I also decided to throw my hair up in a high pony, and that was in large part because I had like a double collar situation. I not only had the collar from my button down, but also my coat, so throwing my hair up kept it nice and clean. It's in everything you're doing, you know it's there and it's there for a good cause. And we'll dance to our own heartbeats, and wonder what kind of world we're living on. So embarrassing. Right now I turn around and we make eye contact and I'm like, oh God, help me. Uh, guys, so this look was really all about the fact, again, reminding you that you don't need to have that button down or that flannel be the star of the show. For this really cozy sort of romping around outfit, I actually decided to wear like my chucks and boyfriend jeans and a really yummy vintage sweatshirt. And all I did was put that button down underneath it. I popped the collar outside of it and cuffed the sleeves um, around the cuff so that it almost acted like an accessory. Again, no necklace needed and no bracelet needed because the plaid texture sort of took over that role. It's a really comfy, cozy outfit, but super functional for day to day. to me like a fun like girls night happy hour type vibe now if I could do it all over again I would swap out this oversized tee for like an oversized sweater dress or a sweatshirt dress but the sort of theory of this remains the same instead of wearing the flannel as like an item of clothing I'm wearing it almost as an accessory by tying it around my waist it gives me a waist in an otherwise very baggy ensemble so pull that waist really tight and it pulls in the waist and it, again it just adds a pop of color and texture and pattern to something that's otherwise very simple here. I also wore the thigh high boots and the turtleneck just for warmth, it was purely functional. Yeah, they add style, but really it's a matter of keeping me warm. Alrighty, and we have date night. How killer is this skirt? I found this at a thrift store. It's just like fun and crazy, sort of the car wash pleats. But to create the look, I took my button down and I unbuttoned it one extra button and used a little double stick tape. It creates like a really sexy deep V look, but it's really just my button down. Any skirt you have, obviously yours doesn't have to be just like this. A maxi skirt that you normally wear in the springtime can really be converted beautifully for the winter. So I am wearing again my thigh high boots, purely functional, just for warmth, layered this faux shearling leather jacket on top, and then had that blouse kind of unbuttoned, and all in all the elements come together for a really sexy date night look. Mikey's gonna like you.